Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Spearfarer. It's been a bit, two weeks, uh, but yeah, we're back. I don't remember what we're doing, so let's just hop right in. I, well, that's a lie, I do kind of remember what we're doing, because we have all of the uh, spirits on board, I think, yeah, I don't know why they're in a different order, but yeah. Oh, I know why they're in a different order. Never mind. Okay, right, I'm getting distracted. Let's go. Yeah. It's been a bit. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let's figure out how to help these guys. Oh, we have... <laughs> okay, improve the field with the beehive. Find an acetate in Nordweiler. Complete the gold dragon in under seven minutes. Can catch over one-third of all deadly pulsar rays and find a treasure sunk at sea at 3469 give me a second throat decided to die buy the blue bird for bucks from an edgeboro lane all right let's start working on all this shall we oh i wasn't supposed to go on the boat i was supposed to steer the boat God, I hope that, uh, the internet cooperates today. I guess we'll see, but I hope it does. How many? There should be a lot of people in the, uh, room, whatever. Oh, there's Bucky. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have fun laying on the floor, buddy. Yeah. As you might be able to tell by the uh, title, we are close to the end of the game, which is a bittersweet moment. Bittersweet in the fact that... You know, oh. Bittersweet in the fact that we'll have helped all the spirits, but... I oh, don't know, I don't want this game to end. I enjoy playing this a lot. Give me one second. I got a... Nah. I see. Alright. Got a Norweiler for Beverly. Yeah, and while we're doing that, we'll just water these plants. I should go ahead and also. Man, what is going on with the internet today? <laughs> I thought the internet had somewhat fixed. I guess I was wrong. I apologize for that. Uh, let's cook. Let's put some rice flour in here. Get a bit of maple syrup and see what comes out. Whoa, what's up? Oh, you want food. Poached fruit? Alright, enjoy Jackie. Still a little miffed about you, but it's fine. <laughs> Find the acetate in Nordweiler. Got it. Yeah, it's gotta be that up there, right? Yep, like father, like son. And I presume that I'll 
And I need to go and put this in the projector room. But while we're doing that, let's go and go to Edge Berlin. See if we can actually find. Yeah, Buck. Buck. Buck is his name. Uh, Buck's blueprint for his room. Myself. I don't know what's going on with everything. The internet's bad, my throat's dying. Today's gonna be a great stream. Uh, let me get to Edgeboro Lane. I'll try and fix my throat. It might just be semi-sick. It's also a possibility. I hope not, but... Also, I just realized I peaked my mic. Okay, I'll talk a little bit quieter. Which is strange. I usually don't peak the mic. to the right internet. That also might be an issue. Maybe. I'm not sure. The computer just kind of connects to whichever internet thinks it's the best. So as long as the stream's still going, I don't necessarily mind. I need to build it. Which is easier said than done, because we might not even have the materials for it. Alright, we got a few places to talk. What's up? Yes. I can feel its venerable magic flowing through my nostrils. Its perfume possesses the distinct aromas of lilac and elderberries. Look at it. Cryptic runes, silvery ornaments. Without the shadow of a doubt, the scroll is written in the ancient language of the Naga Nagadan. Make knowledge roll. 18. Fantastic. Your success indicates you can read old Nagadian proficiently. Commander, let yourself be guided by its enchanted instructions. Once the house is built, I could finally read the rest of the scenario. Once the lair is erected, it will rest at last. And I will have the power to pierce through the ethereal veil and communicate with the elemental powers. 
My humble fate lies in your hands, Commander. What's up? Francis says, It's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new errand just for you. Fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. Interesting. Do we need to go? This is Silver Dragon. Alright, so the three areas I need to go are here. There's a dragon somewhere, which is here. So I just need to go up in this area. Okay. I also need to project this, so I'm gonna go grab the food and we can project it. Oh, it's cereal. I've made cereal. Oh, you're already in here. Hello. What is that? That view. I love the look of these houses. They are so beautiful. My father was obsessed with architecture. He was a veteran. He went overseas and fell in love with the buildings. Even on the battlefield, he carried his film camera around his neck. He would always be taking pictures. Can you believe that? In spite of all the violence and can't image. Or, sorry, carnage. It looks like there's an M, not an R and an N. He still found beauty. Seeing in those buildings fall left quite the impact on them. He didn't talk about it much. The war, I mean. Architecture became more than a... He talked about that all the time. They can tell you that I lost my purse with the, uh, my address book and my bonder's brooch. I don't think so. Well, that purse had that photograph inside. I would take it out from... Hmm. Let me take a little break. Alright. What's stopping me from making a beehive again? I don't necessarily remember. Uh, XP potion, right? Give me a second, I'm gonna try something really quick. So the Twitch stream might go down. But I'm going to see if I can fix this. I cannot fix this. Why? Yep, there it goes. Hello, Twitch. Why is it just completely disconnected? All right, give me a second. I seem to have broke it. 
Yeah. <laughs> Do I need to be connected to this? Alright, I guess we'll just do this. Welcome back, Twitch. Sorry about that, I tried swapping over to a uh, better internet, but I guess I'm not allowed to for some reason. Whatever, I guess we'll have to just deal with it. Alright, go here. And while we're going that direction, I'm gonna go ahead water these sunflowers and then after that uh, we'll try and get Buck's house actually built. You need food? Can't go I need something eaten yesterday. Alright. Sweet tea? I can't touch anything that's stimulant if you think I've been intense already. These things will make me look demented. It's not that I don't like them. I just don't like how they make me feel. Already at the right amount of bev. Okay, bye. Right. What's up? Must I do everything for you? You have not prepared lodging for me. Write this quickly. Something sparse. No frills. And I need it post haste. Go now. Alright, so we need pine planks, clear glass sheets for Buck. And we need a bunch of things for Elena. Alright. We will do that in a second. I. Okay. Let's do this. Are you ready for another challenge? You'll be coming from all directions. Steal your mind. Visualize the patterns. Use your dash and light burst abilities. I don't have light burst. Connect. What do I need? 13. I see you three down there. I just jumped through all those. And the stream just died again. Alright, well, at least we got the uh, challenge done. But I'm gonna need to figure out. I'm just so distracted with the internet right now. Alright. I'm glad Twitch didn't get to see any of that. Better. You can see you are sweating a bit. Good. These challenges are supposed to be difficult. You have earned a carrot. Not a little carrot, but a reward. Here it is. It is in the form of a challenge, however. I have nothing more to say to you. Feedback over. Might as well go ahead and get the, uh, dragon. Okay, give me a second. Can I just pause the recording? No.
You better just allow me to do this. there all right we're gonna try this out see what happens god i am so sorry twitch this is gonna look horrible on twitch but that's fine or maybe it isn't if the if this keeps happening i might just cancel for today this will go up on youtube but very short what's up beverly Hey, Stella. I think I feel it in my bones. The season's about to change. We should take a look at the flowers. You know, remember? When we were neighbors, we had these beautiful red anemones in our garden. We looked so surprised when they would bloom each springtime. You probably thought it was magic or something. You had to look up how did they survive all winter? Well, flowers are resilient. They remember that they want to grow. To see the sunlight. To feel its warmth. That's why I like the most about you, sweet pea. You're always the brightest part of my day. I'm glad we were neighbors. Neighbors. Alright, so we need pine planks. Now. And a lot of them. Do I have pine? I do have pine. Okay, great start. I guess it's a good thing we got a bunch of pine uh, logs, so these mess ups aren't going to do too much damage. I'm also acting like I've messed up a lot on the on these these um, all right, I guess is the word. <laughs> use I would use great, but all right is accurate. That's strange. I'll be over there in a second, Elena. I need to uh, need to get the pine for both years and bucks housing. task. This creature is in pain. You will thrash and fight. It will be a decent challenge for you. As long as you don't forget to use your dash ability. Go. I'll be timing you, of course. We got seven minutes to do this. I don't think it takes seven minutes. But who knows? I might be wrong. Can I see where I need to go? Thank you. Wait for it to 
recharge. Bypass that one entirely. This is a good source of gold. It would have been nice earlier. That went surprisingly well. Actually worked. Okay, I need you to move down. Okay. Wasn't thinking that far down, but I guess that'll work. taking a lot longer than I expected it to. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're only at, what, three minutes? Why did the camera go over there? I just... Thank you. Four minutes. Gotcha. Not bad. But not good. Keep at it. I don't tell you your time, because it's up there. It might get to your head. On to the next one. You're showing promise. What are you waiting for? Go on now, student. I'm probably almost stuck again. Oh. Hey, you. I can feel it in my bones. The weather is changing. We should take a look at the flowers. You don't remember? We are neighbors. We have these beautiful flowers. It looks so surprised when they would grow. You probably thought. Well, I'm not sure. Flowers are strong. They remember that they want to grow. To feel the sun. That's what I like the most about you. You're always there. I'm glad we were... Neighbors. Maybe. We would find me... Find a new place for me to live. Bring Beverly to the Everdor. Alright. We can do that.
That one's definitely not the closest thing. More or less just go to like here, I guess. And let's see if we can go ahead and make some stuff at the moment. So I need to crush some quartz, I believe. Because we need to make a clear... What sheets did we need? Because it was steel and something else. Clear glass, alright. Not crystal glass, clear glass. Which needs lime powder. Again, I apologize for all the uh, internet issues today, Twitch and as well as YouTube. Uh, YouTube, you're not going to experience it as much because I were just this is just recording, obviously, but with me fixing it, it's going to be a little annoying, and I apologize. I already broke the hammer. second Alex travel down here I think the cat just fell in the water I want to go to the Everdoor. And while we're doing that, I can build Buck's house. Which, Buck, you're getting all the way up here. And do we have the materials for a steel house? Or a steel sheet and snow? Uh, we need carbon powder. That's actually not that bad. Uh, I cannot use the machine while we're near the Evador. Gotcha. <laughs> I assume you'd like to talk first. Yeah. Do you remember? Remember those flowers? I can't. I think... It's time. Time for me to admit it. I can't go on any longer. You know where we need to go, neighbor. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. This never gets easy. <laughs> like, I don't get me wrong. I know they're fictional characters. But... The way they're portrayed is very accurate to a lot of people. In the actual world. Let's go, Beverly. I... I know. I... remember. 
Do you? The neighborhood? We... We were... There. With the... The flowers. We were... There. In that... That building. Almost... Next door... You and me. We were... We were... Neighbors. You were always there, there, there for me, Stella. Goodbye, sweet pea. Goodbye, Beverly. Nope, there's... Daria. You know, all the uh, spirits are still here, and I believe now Beverly should uh, be here, I think. Yep, there's Beverly. Right there. Alright. Let's get out of here, shall we? Uh, is there... A place here? Okay, talk to book, yeah. Uh... 40, negative 50, and 34, 69. So 30... Did I say 30, negative 50? I all tabbed. Give me a second. <laughs> 40, negative 50. And 34, 69. Alright. Uh, 40, negative 50 is here. Alright, let's talk to Buck. He was probably happy about his house. Wonderful. Oh, Commander, your humble servant is going to be more excited. This mage tower is reminiscent of the glorious Hal Halkion castles of Whitlam. I can feel magic permeating through its pearly walls. It's even got a collector's bookshelf. I kneel before your solicitude, cast with your awe at your prowess. Now that this fabulous lair of wonder has been summoned to this platinum realm, it's time to gaze ahead. Rejoice! The time has come for the Silver Company to proudly float its battle banner again. We will reassemble the finest group of adventurers ever to self set, foot, set foot in this realm. Alper Alperin, the noble ranger. 
plain speaking a high elf ranger from a line of fallen royalty who was once rescued by good-natured beholders. Some say his family castle had a very low ceiling, and he sold everything he owned to pay for the Hero Academy tuition. W Warderick, the cunning bard. A sassy human bard from the Mirror Desert who has serious mommy issues and gets easily attached to people. Also very afraid of sharp edges. Emderol, the... Well, it's complicated. Emderol is a multi-class warlock paladin plumber gnome from a dysfunctional marriage who watched his whole family get eaten by him to land his cube. Don't pity him, he is quick to take credit and assign blame. And his min-maxing tendency is insufferable. Commander, let your modest servant uh, scroll on your map their last known dwellings. Onward, fate awaits us. Also, Jerome never gave me back my monster's manual. Two things. One, flower. Second off. Money. Alright, next, we need to head up here. Should be easier just to head back to here, I think. Me thinks. Alright, now let's get Elena's cubicle set up, shall we? You know, I'm just not gonna bother with my end. I'm just gonna hope that things are going fine on the stream end, and if they aren't, I really apologize, but oh well. I honestly don't know how I can fix it at the moment, because I don't have control over the internet. So I'm gonna just stop talking about it now, and hopefully we can enjoy the uh, rest of the stream. That sound good. Hopefully it does. one more thing that we needed to do for uh, Elena's cubicle. That's the wrong thing. Uh, linen fabric. Alright. We can easily do that, but let's go ahead travel to this spot. And then go ahead and Go to 3469, I believe, was the number. I'm going to hear me repeating it a lot because I am horrible with remembering if you haven't learned. Right, linen fabric. <laughs> Not go in the wrong direction. Oh, we've only got three pieces of linen thread. So I actually need to grow more linen, which I th sadly think needs to be grown in here. Of course. Alright. Uh, so we'll grab this, I guess, and then possibly head up to... Where 
quick and we had to buy supplies. You. Alright, I'll head to Hummingbird, which I think actually I need to head to Hummingbird anyway. Yeah, alright. That kind of actually works out then. Talk to you in a second. I'll let you know. Good haul, student. You made good on your promise to find these valuables. I know these bring back memories. Your ring from a past marriage. Those coins from your brother, you say. You need to stop thinking of such things. Your past will always bring you shame. Your past will bring you down. Your heart needs to guide you forward. I need you to do something hard. Perhaps impossible in your current state. I need one of those valuables. Take your time to decide. Then you can give it to me. Well, if it's a past marriage, I think I already have a... I already have an idea. That must have been hard. That's just life. You live. You lose. Were you expecting something in return? I'll let you have some time for yourself now, soon. Alright, cool. These were brown, I forgot it. So let's get grab these. So I think what we'll do, just to kind of keep things going along, because we need to keep doing Buck's quest to get the XP potions for Jackie. And we need to get Elena's house finished. So what I'm thinking is we'll go ahead, grab the Lindsay's, grab uh, Buck's, well, Jerome, I guess is his name, from Hummingbird. And then we'll grow the linen seeds while we're going around and getting the other two people for Buck. That way we're just kind of keeping in, uh, keeping track with everything we need to do. I'm gonna probably buy like 15. I know I don't need that many, but I'm just gonna buy 15. Uh, there we go. Who is Jerome? What? Any hip hop record? Sure, the press rocks up so fresh. It's gotta be the Dice Boys. Stiller and I manage the street team here in Hummingbird. Oh. We just ran these copies around. Thanks for the help. You must be a big fan to come all the way here. Yes? Oh, I thought you had something to say. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. Where is Jerome? I'm going home. Don't follow me, please. I don't want people to know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. My favorite spot is this bench at the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful. That's a long day's work. Oh my, I shouldn't have told you if I want to keep that way. Leave my door alone. Stop rallying my knob. Okay, you're starting to annoy me. I can keep going. Oh, leave me darling. Okay, you're just going to talk in circles now. Ah, Buck is finally ready. About time. I spent all my bucking money on glittery dice. I'm more than ready. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I am the mighty M-Drill of the... Oh, screw it. I'm Jerome, okay? I know I should be in character, but whatever. Come on, what's the riddle? Hmm, I see. This one's a doozy. 
I need to think about it. But I'm sure I'll figure it out where to go. Thanks. Okay, Bomb Light Corp in Oxbury. Uh, first off, bust up. Second off, linen seeds. This is why I rooted up the sunflowers. Because I knew that this is where the linen had to be grown. <laughs> I guess I can play. Guitar while we're waiting. Alright. Oxbury and Bottom, uh, those are both down here, I believe. Yeah, there's Oxbury. Oh, my corpse right there. All right. Uh. Okay, I see how we'll do this. Uh, actually, we might do this a different way than I was thinking. I was thinking about. Heading to Oxbury and then going from Oxbury to Bomb Lake I think we'll go to Oxbury, come back to here, and then go to uh, Bomb Lake through the uh, through the bus station. But in the meantime, we'll just play some music. Time to find a needle in a haystack. See you. Oh. Uncle Bust may have a rare disease where I hate it when people talk to me and myself oh. love talking. I sometimes make up words like Burkani. Like what? What? Sure. Oh. Rock, rock. Oh. Alright. Everyone's orange here. So maybe I'm looking for the one person who isn't orange. I hope. Alright, nope, that didn't work. Time to talk to everyone. Oh well, hmm. ha. Finally, I won't bow before you. I know you are, and although I respect your reputation, I'm Alpiran, Al Ranger of the Seventh Moon. The Ranger of the Seventh Moon bow to no one. As the leader of the Glorious Silver Company, I will uphold once again the Crusader's Mantle. Some preparations need to be made. Then yes, I will ride my noble steed and regroup with you all. Go, reunite the Fellowship. The time has come, and adventure cometh once more. Alright, that was a lucky guess. Or... Lucky pick, I guess. It's strange to think that the song we learned from Summer way, way back, you know, we're still using. Alright, 
ahead and this would probably be faster to stay here and then go to Bob Lane Corp. Alright, now we can play the music for a little bit longer than just a few seconds, hopefully. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going until this one's finished, actually. I mean, it seems fine. It's got one more stage, I believe. Grab Buck's crewmate is what I'm just going to call them. Even though we all know they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. I almost called it Dragons Dungeons. That would have been wrong. Uh... I was supposed to wake up the passengers. Whoops. I forgot. I forgot. I'll be back on this one. Alright. Wow. Buck sent you. Finally. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I mean, glad to finally make your acquaintance, Commander. I am indeed Warderick the Bard. It was I who composed the ode to Flabrigon the Drunk. I who solemnly... Solemnly... I forgot how to pronounce that word. Formed at the court of Queen Fluthine for her wedding. And I'll be the chronicler of the Silver Company once again. Pretty good, eh? <laughs> I love this character. Yes, you can count on me. I'll meet you all at the Naked Mole Baron as planned. In the meantime, I'll scour the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Wallowbowl in search of very precise information. I also need to tell my mum. Okay, gotta run. See ya. Talk to Buck. Ring the bell. Good morning, Jackie. Let me actually plant onions. I just realized it's kind of messed up that Francis wants onions. Oh well. Commander, this is utterly fantastic. 
Silver Company has answered the call once again. We will soon traipse once more on the Elysium Fields of Adventure. May the 11 stars bless your heart, Commander. You truly have been an indomitable herald of bravery. Now our next step will leave, lead us to a shifty tavern. Naked Bull Bear Inn nests in the frozen mist of the White Hamlin Nordweiler. But before our appearance at the mysterious premises, there's a little something we should accomplish, Commander. I certainly am entertaining the concept of sustenance. Yeah, we cannot come empty handed. That would be a good idea. Okay, look. We should bring munchies, otherwise, everyone will be miserable. Let's say. some popcorn? A corn dog would be nice too. Oh, yeah, and for dessert, toffee. Yeah, that should do it. Alright, where was I already? Ah, yeah. This undertaking might very well be below your level, Commander, but it shall be a well-earned respite in our quest for justice and glory. Onward! Do I have pop? What do I have in the name of food? I don't have popcorn. Do I have corn? one make a corn dog again. Do I have the ingredients to make said corn dog? Uh, corn flour and pork. Do I have pork? I do not have pork. Alright. Uh, how does one make toffee? Dairy and a sweetener. I need a cow. So I need cotton fabric and maple. Sorry. Uh, well, that's going on, I guess, actually. We can do a few things. First off, let me get some pork. Uh, go back to Oxbury, I guess. Planks was the first one. First thing I needed. Uh, just do that. As long as I don't mess this up royally, we should be fine. Okay, so that's that, uh, cotton fabric. Man, only one. Yeah, yeah, Jackie, leave me alone. <laughs> you know what, you get a cow right next to your house. Doesn't take that much time at all. Get some toffee. Okay, actually, this is Nordweiler. 
Oh no, that has pork. Might as well go there then. And while we're waiting for that, well, let's turn our linen into our linen thread into linen fabric for Elena's house. I'm missing now for Elena's house. Oh, I made linen. Right. All right. Let me go grab the. Let me go grab the pork really quick. Oh, I also needed to make corn flour. Do I have corn flour? Flower. All right. So we're gonna be waiting anyway for a little bit. That's fine. Okay, you have work I need. Thank you. Definitely made way too much linen. house if I were to guess. Yo, what's up? I seriously apologize for pressing with some shit. Where is the big humble servant need, feels the need for sustenance? I would also gladly accept this most... I'd gladly accept the smallest of scraps from you. Anything really. Alright. I'm sorry, buddy. I cannot accept a generous offer as a press press to Well, uh, right, you can't have... Uh, if I had a small stuff, so why did you want toffee then? We have a salad. Uh, now I need to give you food. Here's the popcorn. That popcorn sounds great. Me and Brian won't stop talking about it. And you need toffee. That toffee is perfect. Well, it looks so yummy. Bob will be delighted. Wonderful job. Alright, Elena, what's up? Well, this will do. This will do nicely. 
let me warn you. I need the bare minimum. Please do not add anything to these quarters. And a single ornament. And I'm going to actually say that now. If you want to... If you're going for all the achievements, you need to get everyone up to max happiness. Uh, if you want Elena to be at max happiness, do not upgrade the house. <laughs> she will get worse. Wait. Should I go into the kitchen myself? Feed me. Alright. Uh, you want to bring salad? Cool. Gives you harsh feedback, yeah. Trust me, I know. Alright. Guess we're just waiting on corn flour at the moment. Which actually, uh, because I messed up and thought we needed more linen, I'm gonna go ahead and I think we need to go go ahead and clear out the field again, meaning I need to play the music. Hopefully that doesn't take too long to do this. Or the corn may be done. Cool. I guess we'll water the plant and try to leave. Alright. Now, corn dogs. I'm actually quite hungry now. I haven't eaten yet today. <laughs> So I'll just talk about foods making me hungry. Oh, it's gonna take a while. Alright. Back to playing the music. I hope you guys are enjoying the day. Even with all the issues at the beginning of the stream. Which is gonna have a field day with even the videos <laughs> that are left in the uh, archive for the week. At least it's only a week though. But yeah. And I hope you guys are looking forward, if you've actually looked into it, that I've been planning on making a series and that first episode is supposed to go out today so I hope you guys are looking forward to that if you're interested of course not everyone's going to be so I'm gonna stop talking and just let you enjoy the music We should have needed to grow any more linen. Oh, perfect timing. Uh, but we will also start planting sunflowers again. But yeah, let's go grab the corn dog and give it to Buck. Buck, I've got your food! You might be asleep, actually. Yep, there, right, cool. Time to go sleep. So we can wake up Buck. And go from there, I guess. Hopefully, no one's stuck. 
Elena, I will be with you in, in a second. I need to get Bucky's food. I also need to hit the bell. Buck, where are you flying to? You're flying all the way down. Of course you are. Right on, some good old corn dogs. German and I don't always agree, but our friendship has been cemented by our mutual love of corn dogs. Yay, Stella. You got everything. Oh, sorry. Mm. By the Lords of Waruron. Our fellowship's larder has now been filled up to the brim with delectable victuals. Commander, victory won't have, have been simply earned on the battlefield, but in the kitchen, too. Now let's soar swiftly and sprucely to the modest Hamlet and Nordweiler. Silver Company is bursting with the patience. The naked mulberry ends walls will forever see in their stones print the memories of our con congregation. Give the order, Commander. Fate awaits. Well, we're here. But let's talk to Elena first. Student. I have another teaching for you. And you're tough enough to not be broken. I need you to take me to the Emmerdor. You are equipped to do so now. We don't need to say more to until we get there. Peace. Quiet. That is good practice. Starts now. Oh. Alright then. Yeah, I didn't I didn't remember Elena's like quest line being that long, to be honest. So this makes sense. But let's go do Bucks first before we head out of here, because we're at... Like, we're here, we might as well, right? I saw a chest! Commander! Oh. Sometimes, grand events happen in the simplest of places. The air is damp with mead fumes. The atmosphere is tense, and the onlookers gaze at your appearance. The Naked Mulberry Inn is a shabby parlor indeed. Its inconspicuousness is its best quality. A lot of people have lost eyes here. You can smell the bloodshed in the air. Perfect rendezvous for the Silver Company. And indeed, our reunited Avengers each came forth with a piece of an intricate scenario. Orderick the Bard in his research found an ancient tome in the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Wallable. In it, words of a very wise and ancient being, an oracle, had been mentioned by the sages of Laaran. Elper and the noble ranger met with the witch's conclave of Sandara. The witches talked about the leaves of an elder tree, and through their forbidden ritual of Almazar, awakened the tree from its age of slumber. And finally, Emderil riding his white steed, Emderil. Emderil did nothing but argue on the internet over the merits of the Poison Cloud spellcast at level 2. Good job, Jerome, once again. Commander, the Silver Company might have unearthed where our next step will be. Roll a knowledge skill. 18. Success. Can't shake the idea that the Oracle is indeed hidden in Furugawa. This can only be the possible only this can be the only possible solution. Determine you believe it's time to set sail. Towards Furugawa. To the Oracle. Right. First, though, we are going to head to the Epidor and take Elena there. Which is going to be weird because then we'll only have two spirits left. Commander, the Oracle is a being of immense wisdom. Only the chosen one will be deemed worthy. You'll have to face the Oracle alone. He is old this time. Watching all of us morals. You can find him in Furugawa. Find the Oracle. That was the plan. Uh, but alright. Yeah, Alex. He 
you take me to the ever door again, I kind of need to go there. I stopped upgrading my ship a while ago because honestly the speed and the capacity seems to be fine. Yeah, like I said, we're getting close to the end. This doesn't seem necessary. Don't, don't you climb up there. You're going to be getting down anyway. Yeah, we're going to need... I don't know. We're getting close. Close to the end of this adventure. Which I mean is fair. I think this is our 11th day on these seas. So, it makes sense that we'd be finishing up shortly. It'd be kind of funny if, if actually I spent a full day on the seas, you know, 24 hours. Are you going up to your your house? Yes, yes you are. Stella, we are here. I know I've been working you hard lately. I hope you do understand. Everyone needs a little bit of discipline in their lives. For someone who takes others to the afterlife, you're holding on surprisingly well. I do have one last request for you. It won't be an easy one, considering what we've been talking about. Will you make the journey with me? Yeah, thank you. You good over here? Alright. Just making sure. Oh, one last thing. What's up? So you were my first student in this place. I don't think you deserve a passing grade. I won't hold it against myself, and neither should you. A lesson you should learn from this. If life is hard, you should not be hard to it. People have the ability to change. You have the ability to, ch to change. You can shape how you want to be. I know that this is sometimes a tradition. The passing of a legacy. A token at the end. An heirloom. Something for you to remember my time here. I did not wish to give you one. However, I have prepared something greater. Tasking requests from the great beyond that you will receive. The useless object will not make you think of me, but lessons will. Well, let's go then, Elena. Hopefully this will all be over soon. Let me think of something. Okay. I'll just say it. I just want to say, truly, I'm due to the student, I am proud. You did good work.
I've been thinking, when we get there, maybe, just maybe, we can hug. We'll see how I feel. This is the only time I'll let you. Come on. Bye, Elena. And now we only have a few more spirits to go. Technically three, but two more spirits to go. Okay, what was that? The Fergalo. Let's head over, shall we? Let's keep the keep this boat moving. Didn't mean to hug you. Thank you for the hug, though. I appreciate it. I'll come out there in a second, Alex. I just want to water these plants. Yeah, even though we've done a lot today, we still have half an hour left, I think. So, you know, we're gonna keep going. There's Fergawa anyway. Is this Fergawa? Alright. As you know, we're going to be playing more music. At least until we hit the island, or all these are grown. Go see this ancient oracle. Now Buck is here. Is is gonna come with us to talk to the oracle? Are you, is it you? Oh. Hey, you. My name's Megan. Ministry team now. Oh. To be honest, Megan, I'm not interested. Thank you though. Is it you? Oh dear, lost at sea. He always does this. Oh. Where's the oracle? 
Can't be far. You can feel his power. See you. No. You. Nope. It's not you. You're with us. If his bet would be going this direction. See you. Second treasure. I feel like I've talked to everyone here. So it's not you up there. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. You. For your time. To it. Hello to you too. Hello to you too. Oh, the Oracle Tree. That would help. <laughs> that was a person. You. I am the Oracle. I see visions of deception and hardships ahead. I see loss, sorrow, and pain. I see hope, love, and joy. You will return to the world with a token of passage. A piece of soul already paid. An item of immense value. An obol. But spirit fair, this is not what you came here for. You came here seeking answers. You'll find these answers in those simple numbers. Negative 185 and negative 92. Those symbols will show you the way. Receptacle of light awaits. Negative 185, negative 92. I know I could probably just look at the thing. To see. Also, I just got an oval from a non spirit. Right, look at all those constellations in the background. Amazing, I know. Where are we heading? Somewhere around here, right? How far out? That's that is not where I wanted. Wait a minute. I want the bus stop here so we can teleport to said bus stop.
I forgot that once you do all the uh, challenges for Elena, you can redo them. Which is how I had to do it to get Elena to the uh, max happiness. Also, negative 185, negative 92. So it's up here and about here. But yeah. Uh, if you somehow. Because originally, to get Elena to like max happiness, you'd have to like keep uh, Gustav around. Because Gustav's instrument playing would make her happy. Uh, but now they updated it a while back where you can go and make her happy by continuously doing her challenges until she was max happiness. This is what I had to do to get that achievement. Come on. I didn't realize I had to talk to him. Alright, going back. Gives us time at least to grow these sunflowers again. I'm growing these because I think I need it for the beehive later. So, that's the only reason I'm doing this. anything to do between then. Like I said, Jackie's waiting on us to get XP potions. Is there actually anything else I need for the uh, beehive that I can get right now? I assume so. Gold ingots. Alright, that's actually not that hard. I guess we just got gold from Elena. Script on it. I'm assuming that's. Oh, check the middle one some more. I forgot that she does this. Even though she said that she was going to, but. Oh, we might do them. Alright. Two letters from Elena. That's another letter. Oh. Right. Read one of Elena's letters. Alright. What do we got here? I think you've had enough time off. I've marked a few errands for you to do. Let's write you with the details. I have a bit more to go. I think you can upgrade. Oh, you have a bit more to go. I think you can upgrade your stations. Improve your stations to their full potential. Well, I can't do that for all of them. Because that required... Okay, this is... Basically her... I'm not going to worry about those, because this is basically the game's way of saying, Hey, uh, here's quest to get you to 100%. We're not doing that. Elena, I have taken you to the upper door. I'm done. I'm sorry. Commander, this day will forever be inscribed in the archives of Yor, forever sung by the balladeers of the Seven Corners. The Oracle has awakened. He talked to you. His puzzle might be cryptic, but you will no doubt find the solution. Of this, I'm sure. Roll. Oh well. I think you figured this one out on your own. Good luck. Okay, now can I go? Cool. Oh, my 
didn't, wasn't thinking. <laughs> that was muscle memory. I meant to go into here so that we can go back. Boy, you need food. Dead. Not surprised, to be honest. Lobster roll. You probably just like fried chicken, because that's what you're holding. Hey, Francis. Bye, Francis. Now it shows. The hidden shrine. Okay, I was holding left. Game did not care. Oh, uh, it might have been why. It was because I was holding it and it might have just not registered. Just fine. Tis alright. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just wait until we get to the end of the shrine, I guess. Shrine discovered. I feel like I found this on accident somehow last time, but I can't because if you go here, it just doesn't exist without the quest. Alright, well. Nope. The Oracle's words were true. Commander, these dark woods conceal a shrine of immense power. Old ancient shrines have a will of their own. Imbued with the divine power of Halter and the wise, they can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Rualba. I take short rest, I have okay. Only you, the chosen one, can resonate with its magic. Only you, the star child, can wield the glaive of divine justice. Yo, Commander, cast your heavenly magic and whisper the secret words. For your actions of lie in our path. Cast your magic, chosen one. Yeah, I think we've got enough, uh, obols. Just perhaps. And this is Light Burst. Uh, the power that Elena was talking about to use for one of the challenges, but we didn't need. Magical. Blessed be the eleven stars. You definitely are the Chosen One. The Lightbearer. The Sunbringer. She who shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness drenched in shadow. That power bestowed upon you by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon. A weapon whose power will rival the thrice-forged glaive of Ethelder, the first of the Dowers. Alas, this party must split up now. The Silver Company has played its role fully, and it's time for its members to ride back to their homesteads. Also, these guys are past the curfews and need to get back home. 
Let's trek back to the galleon where I shall describe our next tasks in great lore dumping details. Also, I need to look again at my notes. Alright, bye guys. <laughs> Francis, I'm not doing the errands, buddy. Mander, I must sadly bequeath you with grim knowledge. I need to shed an anguished light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the primeval evil powers of the Lich God Gordon Nemloth by ourselves. We must rally to our cause the free people of the three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor. We will trek through the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. Fires of Tondor might be known to you already. The Cradle of Lights itself, the Tower of Radiance, where you met me, your humble narrator. The most conspicuous fire of Tondor is nested at the heart of the Gallery of Sins. Finally, the last fire of Tondor is hidden atop the Eternal Ice Spire, concealing its pure white light. But, Commander, you have to know what our road, that our roads will be all but safe. I must warn you the great danger posed by the Orcs of the Shadowsteel Clan. Their master, the War Chief. Amgrathog, um, one eye, is Gordon Nemloth's vassal. Vassal? Vassal. I think it's vassal. Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush us as the fans of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative. One, fumble. You are completely taken by surprise. The orcs jump from the shadows and bellow orgly roars. The shadow steel clan will devour your inner shouts, Gamgrathog, the orc chieftain. Ready yourself, and commander. Some of these foes will be protected by Gor Nemlos nefarious magic. Only your light burst ability can shatter their protection. May the fight begin. I shouldn't have done that. Hey friends, how you doing buddy? Okay, that's three. We need six. Fantastic. Crawling through the debris, wounded and vanquished, Gilm Gotha extirpates himself from the field. I'll be back stronger and cooler. In a shriek, the red orc vanishes from the remnants. This was astounding, Commander. Your fighting aptitude is exceptional, but there's not a minute to waste. Going deep in their caves, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan are ripping and playing their revenge. Quick, to the fires of Tondor. So the fires of Tondor, if you couldn't tell, are lighthouses. So we gotta go there first. Can I fight the orcs again already? Because I only have four XP bottles, I need six. Okay, what do you need? This hero of... of I should have read the script sooner. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, I'm ta taking a pause, and you should too. It's always a good moment when we're in between games to browse through your character sheet. You can think of what you'll do next with your XP. Don't worry, I'll soon be ready. What do you think of the beginning of the Gord and Nemlos story arc? Pretty cool, though. I think in the base is a, uh, I think it has the base is the Dungeon of Destruction sprinkled here, and there are a few elements from the Mask of Inlet up. And add the single best magic item from the royal campaign. And I'll let you on a little secret. Remember when I, uh, I'm Grithog from the Three Towers? Yeah, remember him? I've had him to the campaign. To bring his stats to the new edition was a pain in the butt, though. I'm so excited. Alright, alright, I'll go back to my notes. 
Can't be ready soon enough. See ya. We'll try and knock out as many of these last houses as we can, but we are going to be uh, wrapping up soon for today, which is a little saddening, but oh well, we're going to do it. Uh, we do still need to smelt the gold, too, but that can... Excuse me. Want to grab all these? I love the fact that we still have all these character uh, carrots from when we had Bruce and Mickey. I just want to. Uh, but yeah, from when we had Bruce and Mickey, way back when way back when. It wasn't too long ago, I don't think. It might have been, actually. It might have been a few weeks ago. Who knows? Well, it definitely was a few weeks ago, but whatever. Who knows, man? I didn't even back when I was still playing Tunic. So we get up here. To the top of the lighthouse, you see the purple again, and home. There's one lighthouse. Now we need the location of two, actually, because uh, we've been to two. So let's go to the next one. And Buck needs to talk to us. Wonderful. You did, you did, Commander. The first fire has been lit, and you can hear the hopeful chants of the free people from afar. Your worth is grander than the mightiest arm of Rock Fedora the Paladin. The moonbirds of Waran will soon sing your praises in all the languages of Ramalda. But, Commander, it's forever more. Uh, as bright our moment of joy. In shine, we have to remain vigilant. Gamagata and his likes will probably be alerted by the sight of the glorious fire. And, working the branches. Roll initiative. Fifteen. Great. This is Squalor of the Exotic Foliage. You can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing towards your encampment. Getting closer. Spring from the retreat, they jump on you. Fight! Alright. This actually works out, because we should be able to get the uh, other... Well, yeah, there's all the XP potion we needed. Why are they only appearing up here? Probably a distance thing between the character or the player and the cutouts, or I would guess. There's not a lot of the, uh, oh, there we go. Have to prove me wrong. Well. Thus from what was an epic battle barely settles. Layers upon layers of evil carcasses layer the ground of the battlefield. You are exhausted, but once again victorious. Make a perception attack. Fourteen. Success. As you observe your defeated enemies, you can only really wonder where your battle lies. He is nowhere to be seen. His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He is a follower of Gordon and love, after all, and his cowardice is notable. Quick, let's ride post haste. The next fire awaits. Onward. All right. The 
This is the next fire. We'll go there, but honestly, for what I'm gonna, what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna smelt some gold. So let me get that in there. It's a lot of gold ore. Oh, does it need three pieces? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna smelt some gold, get the beehive built, uh, hopefully land at North Sea. Oh, I went over. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, be very patient with this one. But we're not gonna light the fire uh lighthouse, I almost said firehouse. We're just gonna get the beehive built. We're here. We can we'll get the lighthouse next time. I wanna just do something for Jackie, because I've done something for everyone else on the ship that we had at the start of this. So. I feel like doing something for Jackie is only fair. Even though, like I said, I'm not too fond of Jackie, but you know what you're gonna do, right? If you're not fond of somebody, it's still nice to help them. There we go, there's some beehive. I'm assuming you're asleep, yeah. Alright, let's get him. Let's get him out so we can talk to him. forget to hit that now because we there was a time where we just didn't have any spirits on board <laughs> nice what a beaut as always dollar is great work such great work actually that the bees have already started living in their hive their number of bees eat flowers. Well, at least they did it at Graham's place. Maybe we can eat some other stuff. Falafel honey? Yeah, better not mess with the proud art of honey making. Anyway, there's a trick to keep your bees happy. Want to give you honey? Make sure you keep some mature plants around the hive. The hive is nice and plump with honey. You uh, just get in there real good. And you just swipe the sweet sticky bounty super quick like. Got it? If you have any questions, just ask. Well, then I used to think of something else. You know me, I don't need much. I pretty much sleep anywhere. What I'm thinking, you know, as your assistant living in the same common area as the patients. Well, it's a bad look, ain't it? I really think you should build some kind of staff room. Nothing fancy, just somewhere to lay down after a shift. Four walls and a roof. I'm not a guest here, after all. Anyway, just a thought. Hope we can get to it. See ya. Alright. So now, we gotta build that, we gotta light two more uh, fires, quote unquote. but that's gonna be it for uh, Spirit Fair today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, I apologize for all the issues in, uh, at the beginning of the stream. It seemed to fix itself away uh, around half an hour in, so, but nonetheless, uh, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the last stream for the week, of course, I'll be back next week with some more, uh, it's gonna be Minecraft and Spiritfarer, we're just gonna be doing those two until I finish one of them, Spiritfarer is probably gonna be the one I finish. Uh, and then, but well, we're gonna have to figure out something from there. Yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, you guys take care, have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next stream. Alright, bye bye